What's up fellow developers? Today let us try and make a UI design for a food ordering application. So this would be the design that we'll try to create on Flutter now. So let's get started. I've already had added the assets here so I'll just paste those assets into my folder. Once that is done, let us add the images and the font in popspec.yaml file. Let us also add the fonts. and then let us get rid of the extra script that we have here so right now we have an empty project and uh, before we start let us also create a style page so I'll add a new file named style and I'll define the colors here then I'll remove the debug tag let us define the theme and I'll keep the font family as Montserrat and then let us get started with the scaffold widget let us define an app bar and then let us add the buttons here okay and then let us also add a search icon so let us give the actions widget here
okay now let us create the body of the scaffold let us define a safe area first and then I'll give it as a single child scroll view let us add a container so we can add some padding to it now let us create the column widget which will hold all the other widgets I created a row and then made the elements inside it to be aligned with space between now let us add the children the first text would say today's special then let us add a container and I am giving a column widget let us define as children now let us give a padding of symmetric horizontal to be 25 and vertical to be 10 now let us add an image I have added a rounded rectangle border and then let us add a child to this widget I'll create a row let's give the color as white and uh, let us also define the size okay let us add a text here which should say cart So keep it as white color and size shall be 13 and font weight to be 700 Great. now let us add a container here I want it to be uh, protruding towards the bottom so I am giving a margin on top
let us also give a border radius of 20 on the bottom right and the bottom left and color also to be same as that of the button probably with an opacity And then after this row, let us add a sized box of height probably 10 and then let us add a text that says find out what's king today. Let us style that. color can be green and size can be 13 I'm sorry. okay now after that let us add again a size box of height may be 15 and then here let us add a single child scroll view for this at the bottom and let us define the scroll direction as uh, horizontal now let us add a child it, it should be a row widget can have a container of width probably around 50-55% um, of that of the screen so let us write context.size.width into 0.55 and height can be about 350 points let us give a padding of uh, vertical 40 and horizontal 20 let us add the decoration now the color is uh, blue great now let us also add a shadow for this one so I will write a box shadow spread radius can be 0 I don't want it to be spread and let us offset it at y axis to 10 so it, it goes to the bottom part and then blur radius should also be 0 and color can be same blue color with an opacity of 0 0.4 I'm sorry now you have the uh, shadow here now let us add a child to this container that should again be a column widget now I want it to be aligned at the starting so I'll give cross axis alignment start let us define the children now I'm creating an expanded widget first which will have a container as its child and then let us import an image Great. 
now after this let us add some space so I'll add a sized box of height probably 15 and then let us add a text that should say the name of this dish now I want the color to be white and the font size can be around 16 and font weight can be 700 okay now after this let us add a sized box again of height uh, probably 5 now we need to add the star ratings here so I am creating a row widget let us add the children for this icon and then the color should be white now I also reduce the size now we need five of them so I'm copying this three four five all right now after this we need a text that says the number of uh, ratings that has been done so I'll write 250 ratings let's give it a style color should again be white and then the size can be around 10 Now let us add a sized box of height 10. Now let us also add a description text. Now let us also style this. Again, the color has to be white, and uh, size can be 13. Great. Now we'll add widgets on the right side. So after the column widget, um, let. and then let us again add another column let us define as children now so this will have about 35 percentage of that of the screen so i'll give context dot size dot width into 0 0.35 height can be about half of that of the uh, main container I mean this one I gave it as 165 now let us add some padding to it now let us style this uh, widget let us add a border radius And then the color has to be green and uh, let us also add the same um, box shadow for this one so maybe I can copy it from here and then let us change the color to green 
Now once that is done, we will add a child that would again be a column widget and then it will have the same uh, contents of this one so I'll probably just copy that and then and uh, let us change the image here I'll keep it as food 2 and then um, let us name this object and probably let us reduce the star size to 14 Once this is done, we also add a sized box at the bottom of this container. And then you you have you have to change the image and the name of the food. So probably let us call this rat two. And then let us also change the color to a black that we defined in our style sheet Let's also make this as black good now after this let us add a sized box once the uh, this row is complete so after the single child scroll view let us add a sized box of height maybe 20 and then let us define a row let us style that Now we'll also add a space on the right side, so I'll give a size box of probably with 10 and let us add a expanded widget here it will be a container of height 0.5 and color should be gray so you get a line here and after that let us make a sized box again 
of height 20 and then we need to create a widget for places so I'll write it as places widget this will be the name of the image and this will be the name of the restaurant so let us define that widget now it is going to return a row or a row widget so let us define it as row places widget as I already told you the first parameter is going to be the image the second one would be the name of the restaurant so it is going to return a row widget Let's define the children here. The container will have height 100, width also 100. And let us import an image. We have already received the parameter image so I'll write it as dollar img great now after that let us create and then let us create an expanded widget Let us add a child as a column and I want it to start from the left side so let us give a cross axis alignment of start. Now let us define its children. Let us first create the title. We have already received the name here so let us write name. Let us style that. I'll keep the font size as 16 and font weight as uh, 600. Okay, that looks good. Now let us create the uh, star ratings. So let us create a row first and then let us define the children icon. Icon start star. And let us give it a size of 20 and also maybe have the color as orange alright that looks good now let us keep a copy of this I've kept it as five stars let us again make a text that says the description about this um, restaurant so for now let us keep a uh, dummy content now let us style that one too let us reduce the size of this content and then on the right side let us add a cart button so after the text um, now after the expanded widget let us add a inkwell widget and then on tap let this be empty for now we'll add it in a minute and then let us create a container I'll also give it a padding uh, with symmetry horizontal axis will be 20 and vertically let it be 10 and then let us add the rounded ray rounded to border radius so we'll add the box decoration here border radius border radius dot all
and then let us give the color as green button that is already specified in the style page now let us add a child for this one text Sorry. okay that looks good now let us change the color of this one to be white and size to be 12 and uh, let us make it a bit bolder okay and now once this is clicked I want the application to open up a new page so we will also create a function to open a new page so let us call it void open hotel page and then navigator.push context and this is going to be a new page so I'll write it hotel page for now let us also create the hotel page in the library folder so it's a new dot file hotel page let us import material dot dot let us create a stateless widget hotel page and then let us import the hotel page here okay so and also let us change the inquil widgets function to open the hotel page we had kept it empty before let us edit that now so in the places over here let us define it as open hotel page and that should open a new page for us but before we get into that let us complete the other other places so over here um, let us take a copy of these two and then let us replace the image and the name of this hotel so it, it is okay and then let us add one more this should be hotel 3 and then okay so we have all these places and we have the special items listed on top and once you click this button it is going to take us to the new hotel page and then let us change this to a material app I also define the home Let us create a stateful widget and then let us get rid of the debug tag. Let us also define the theme. And then in the hotel page, let us create a scaffold first. and then let us create a stack for this one so body stack children now inside the stack I want to have a single child scroll view because it will have a lot of content and we want it to be scrollable and inside I mean outside the scrollable area we'll have a cart button that is floating so that is why we have used the stack now let us create a single child scroll view first and then let us make the container as a child let us add a column widget which will hold all the other objects so column and I want it to be starting at the left side so let us give cross axis alignment dot start and then let us define as children container 
let us give it a padding of all sides and then let us define the decoration part now we have the color specified ok now we will import an image Okay, we have it here. Um, <clears throat> after the decoration, let us add a border radius to this. I want it only at the bottom, so let us keep it as bottom left radius dot circular forty and also at the bottom right side now we'll add a column widget inside this image so we have this image in place uh, as a background of the column that we'll be creating right now so inside the container let us add a child And again, I wanted to start at the left, so I'll give cross axis alignment dot start. Let us create the children for this one, sized box. Let us create a row, and then I want it to be aligned on the left and right, so I'll give space between. And then let us define the children now let us add the back button so it's going to be icon button icon icons dot arrow back and the color should be white And then we'll have a search bar on the right side. So we'll again add another icon button. And that is going to be search. Okay, and then after this row, let us add a sized box of height 200 maybe. and then let us again define a row and then let us create a column widget as a child of this row Now let us define the children. So we'll have a sized box first of height 20. Now let us write the name of this restaurant. So it is Yo Sushi. And then let us style this text. The color has to be white first and the font weight can be 700 
and let us also define the size it's 20 that looks nice now let us add a size box of height 10 and then let us define a row inside the column now over here I want the star ratings to be displayed so I want it to be on the right side let us keep it as cross axis alignment end now let us define the children and then let us also add a text that says the total number of reviews let us also style that text now Now let us add a container um, that will have a favorite icon on the right side. So let's do that now. So after the column widget, let us create a container. Let us define the height as 70 and width also as 70 and then let us add box decoration to this the shape is going to be a circle and then the color would be white perfect and then let us add a child to this object let us create a center widget and then let us define the color to be red accent and size a bit bigger so let us add size probably at 35 perfect now after the row widget let us add a sized box of height maybe 15 and then let us add a container now let us define the other part of the UI design so we will create a column widget first and then we will create the children let us define a row and then I want it at the end so let us keep it as cross axis end Now before that let we had to add a description of this restaurant so after the size box let us add a text
and then after this um, let us add the size box and the other container we also need a size box here and then let us style this today's special title now I'll add a sized box of width maybe 10 and then let us add an expanded widget and then we'll create a child for this one as a container sorry of margin that is for the line we created here and then now we will define the places widget again we already have this one so I'll take a copy of this places widget for now let us keep this empty Now over here let us add a sized box and then let us add another size box here now we'll have a set of sc uh, scrollable items like uh, we'll add the dishes and then the dishes will be scrollable so let us first create the title of this one again we'll have a row or maybe we can copy it from here and then name this as dishes great and then after this one after the row we will create a sized box again and then now let us create a single child scroll view with the scroll direction as horizontal now let us create a row that is going to hold all the dishes in place now let us make a new function for this one so I'll write dish widget this is going to be the name of the image and then this would be I'm sorry uh, this is going to be the name of the image and this one is going to be the name of the uh, dish that will be displayed and then uh, this is going to be sort of a description let's take a copy of this one we we'll have four dishes for now now 
now let us define the widget that is going to return a container so let us add container dish widget as you know the first string is going to be an image second one will be the name that has to be displayed and the third one is going to be the description of that one and then it's going to return a container let us say with as 120 then let us define the child of this one it's going to be a column widget let us first import the image so I'll give width as 100 and height also as 100 and then let us import the image we have all the images in place and now let us create a column widget that is going to display the name of this dish so I'll give it as name okay and then let us add a sized box just below this one of height maybe 5 and then I want the description here so that is description Okay, and after this let us add a sized box again and then let us make a container with a padding now this is going to hold the button for for that dish so that is going to be having a border let us add that Great, now let us add a chi child to this object. Alright, so we have all the dishes in place. And uh, we need a cart button displayed in this area so after the single child scroll view let us create a positioned widget
I want a space at the bottom so I am giving a bottom with 30 I want it to be in the center so left is 0 and again right is also at 0 let us add a container here Now once this is clicked we will have to uh, navigate to the cart page so right now let us keep it as empty for now and then let us define the button first Okay, and let us add the child inside this so let us give it a center widget and then we'll have a row because I want the icon and the text to be added And then let us add a text that should say cart the color of this one should be white and size can be 13 and a bit bolder and after that we need a a container that will have probably like a shadow here so let us add that one so after the inkwell widget let us add a container I want it only at the bottom left and the bottom right so let us give it as only bottom right radius dot circular 20 and bottom left also to be similar let us define the color of this one and then probably with an opacity of 0 0.7 okay and when we click on this cart button it needs to go to the cart page so let us create a function here open cart page let us also make a new document saying cart page and then let us define the function
navigator dot push material page route let us define the builder of this one it has to be context and then it should say cart page great now let us let's create the cart page but that is going to be pretty much same, similar to the page that we created right now so let us first make the material app let us get rid of this debug tag and then I'll copy the contents of the hotel page from here so let us go on and copy the scaffold of this one and replace that to be in the container now this is going to throw me an error that is because we have not imported the style sheet and also we have not added the open cart page function and these widgets are not there in place but we will get there in a minute everything stays we don't need the dishes widget page so let us get rid of this one but we still need the places widget I'll take a copy of this one and then let us import that function okay so that has given me the same design now let us edit this page Now the image stays the same and then over here the container height has to be a bit smaller so we let us reduce the size to 100 great and then we have the text and we also have the icons the star ratings um, and and the description also so this top part stays the same and then instead of today's special it has to be cart let us change that to cart maybe we can name it as your cart and then we don't need the dishes part here we'll get rid of that row completely and instead we have the places widget here in place and we'll also add a few more places widget Okay, now we have these places widget now we have to add the prices of these dishes so let us give it a sized box first 
of height may be 5 and then let us create a row Now we will add another text that is going to say the price of these dishes that can be probably uh, any number and then I want the font size to be a little bit smaller great and then after this let us add a size box Now we will add all the additional charges that is taken so like taxes, let us also style that. and let us add the price here and let us take a copy of this row and then add few more widgets like delivery charges Let us also add a size box in between for the space. And let us also add one more widget for maybe discounts. and then we'll have the total amount to be paid so that is going to be total payable and then this needs to be bolder and the size also has to be bigger I want to be grayed out so let us keep it as black and this one stays the same so we can give it as $102 nice and then we'll also add a text saying do you have a promo code or something so let's give it a size box first
now let us create a button that would say checkout so again let us add a sized box of height 20 and then let us create an inkwell widget for now let us create the on tap to be empty Let us add box decoration rounded radius. Border radius, border radius dot all radius dot circular forty, and then the color should be green button. Great. Now let us add the child for this one is going to be a text that says check out and the color should be white font weight can be 700 perfect now we don't need this card button so let us get rid of this position widget completely And since it's going to be a stack, since we added a stack previously, so we'll remove the stack widget also. Great. Now, when you click on the checkout button, it has to go to the success page if it's successful. So let us add a function to open the success page. Context that has to say success page. Now we'll define that in a minute, and then we'll write open success page here. Now let us create the success page. Let us import material dot dot. Let us create the stateless widget. Perfect, and then let us import the success page here too. Okay. It has to be in the checkout button. So over here, let us op let us create open success page. That is going to open the new page for us. And over here, it is again going to be a material app with home.
let us also get rid of this debug tag and then I want the font family to be Montserrat okay now let us take a copy of this page again Now we don't need the checkout button here so let us get rid of that also we don't need the places widget we'll get rid of that one too and let's see what happens okay we don't need these uh, content either so we'll remove those content And then instead of the container let us create an expanded widget and let us also add a child to this expanded widget as a column widget and I want it at the center so let us create main axis alignment center and cross axis alignment also at the center I, I wish to show a big icon so let us create this icon icons dot check circle Let us also get rid of this single chai scroll view. Okay, and now uh, this is at the left, so if we add a text or probably a row, it is going to go at the middle. So let us add that. Now so I'll create a row. is again going to be the center let us define the children let us give it a color size and uh, font weight great
and then after a few seconds you may probably uh, move on to the home page so let's see how it works and then we have the dishes here now we have the cart page so in the cart page over here you can see there is an order now button now let us change that order now to something like this and then we don't need a color here and the text would probably display the quantity of, of this so we can keep it as one for now and then the color should be black or maybe we can get rid of the color component and uh, we can probably add Oh, we don't need the inkwell widget also it can just be a container and before the we can wrap this container with a row and then we can also add a text that would say quantity Uh, let us also add a small spacing in between them so let us create a size box with width of 10 and let's see how that looks like all right so we have the quantity here we also have the prices listed and then when you check out it's going to show us a success page alright so that's it for today hope you like the video please do share this with your friends and give me your valuable feedback thank you happy coding